Okay, thanks for that uh, race from Cheeky Chepstow, Martin. And now you join me here at Lingfield for the Surrey National Handicap of a three mile four furlongs and 0 to 130. Number one is Major Barris, two is Cat Tow, three Windy Miller, four Break Free, five Nievery, six Grecian Urn, seven El Distintivo, eight War Pointer, nine Half Hour Hancock, ten Sharma Blue, eleven Princess Peach, Coupe de Villas twelve, Half Supreme is thirteen, Cutter Dash is fourteen, Grainy Ambience fifteen, Mighty Dev sixteen, seventeen Corsican Boy, the twelve year old, 18 Stoke Hill, 19 Johansson, 20 Eyecatcher and 21 winning race, so 21 of them to find out here at Lingfield, which has the only uh, Paris church in the UK that's of perpendicular architecture, it's the church of Peter and Paul. So they're into the first. Let's get on with the racing after those fun facts. So it's Break Free and Johansson and Cat Tout. Here's one of those races where uh, somebody's borrowed my silks and put a red cap on. <laughs> my apologies, Carl. But he might win, you never know. So it's Johansson that leads us for Carl Arrogante from Break Free from Molliots and third place is Cat Tout. They're all still uh, on their feet after three. I can still wait for him to set. Oh no, we've lost one. The every unseated his jockey on that. I missed that one. He was right at the back. Bad luck there, Martin. Slippery saddle. So it's Johansson that's going to lead them past the winning post. There's still three miles to travel. He's going to get over towards the fence. As you can see the inside track there. The all weather. We get plenty of all weather flat racing. So it's Johansson that leads us by about six to break free. Then Cat Tow, Half Supreme, and Princess Peach. Green Silks and Mighty Dev against the fence. And we've got Corsican Boy in the white half hour Hancock, Coupe de Ville. The grey half hour Hancock. And then Stoke Hill. And the outside of that is Grecian Urn. And Cutter Dash, another grey. Winning race against the fence. Grainy Ambience, Major Barris are in the pack just behind these. And followed through by Warpointer El War Distintivo. So oh, and we've lost another one there. Grainy Ambience has gone. Bad luck, Darren. No one that slipped his jockey. They're into the fifth. Oh, and they all managed to stay in the saddle there. All by Warpointer who almost got rid of his jock. So up to the six now. Everybody gets over that. So just at the rear at the moment is Windy Miller and War Pointer. The yellow silks of El Distintivo. And it's still Johansson that leads us. Been there since the beginning. By a length or so, back to break free and cap towel. And Corsican Boy, my 12 year old. Half Supreme, Mighty Dev, moving up on the inside. Coupe de Ville for Doug Warren. Princess Peach for David Robertson, and they've got a couple of lengths advantage over the chasers. They're being led by the grey half hour Hancock and winning race. So they get to the eighth. A few slow jumps there, but everyone uh, managed to stay on their feet and keep their jockeys in the saddle into the ninth. Again, everybody gets over it. The fences are not particularly big here at Lingfield. Most of these chasers should uh, negotiate them quite well, or by the Jockey letting go of the reins, but it's still your handsome one two for Carl Arrogant at the moment with Cat Tow. On the inside is Break Free, and the outside is Half Supreme. They've got a length now on Corsican Boy and Princess Peach, Coupe de Ville and Mighty Dev. And the chasing pack of uh, winning race in Stoke Hill on their own, and then the grey just leading Cutter Dash the rest. So it's your handsome that still leads us as they go downhill here. Two miles still left to travel. Still over half the fences to negotiate. So that's Johansson. Leads him into the tenth. Takes it slowly but well. Everyone else over it. Corsican Boy didn't take it well and has demoted himself into sort of mid pack now. They go into the eleventh on the downward turn. The one that took that really badly was Molly at Surfer's break free. So still Johansson into the twelfth. They all get over it. That may well be the last next time round. See if there's one more in this final furlong before the winning post. There's not. So uh, that will be the last. So it's Johansson and Cat Tow. From Half Supreme, Mighty Dev, Princess Peach having a good run. Break free against the fence. Coupe de Ville, Corsican Boy, Stoke Hill. Winning race. 
Grey Cutter Dash, one of the through by War Pointer. And then Windy Miller, Sharma Blue, Major Barris, half hour Hancock the Grey, going backwards and we're losing one here. The Grecian Urn's going. He didn't earn enough this week to carry on round. And just at the back now is El Distintivo. As they take this turn, head on out, head on out into the fields and away from the grandstand. It's still the Arrogante horses that are leading us, Johansson and Captow. Half Supreme for Derek Hinton. They get to the 13th. Not unlucky for anybody. They've got closer to order now. There's probably uh, 15 lengths between first and last. Into the 14th. One that didn't jump that at all well was Stoke Hill for James Follis. Jockey just managed to hang on in the seat there. Into the 15th. Leaders jump it well. This time it was a turn of winning race to take it poorly. But it's Johansson now being joined by Half Supreme into the ditch of the 16th. And it's Half Supreme that takes it up. It's got a length advantage now over Cat Town Johansson. Princess Peach just being moved along a little bit. Still having a good run along the fences. Break free. Mighty Dev still there. Corsican Boy. Coupe de Ville. But back up front, it's Half Supreme. Seven furlongs left to run. And the four fences to jump, so it's Half Supreme and New Hanson, both being pushed along a little bit now to take advantage. They're being followed through by Cat Tail, Princess Peach, Break Free, Mighty Dev. They get to the 17th, the leaders are over it, as is everybody else. So it's your Hanson and Half Supreme. These two are neck and neck going into the 18th, a small ditch. They're both over it well. And we lost one there. I think uh, Star Stoke Hill and Half Hour Hancock we lost. I think my catch has been pulled up as well. So I've missed a few there, but it's Johansson and Half Supreme that lead. They've got a couple of lengths over Corsican Boy that's trying to make up the the advantage. Princess Peach looks safe on the far outside now. Here comes Major Barris, the top weight, as well as Windy Miller through the between horses. So it's Half Supreme. Johansson being joined by Corsican Boy, but on the outside here comes Major Barris and Windy Miller as they go downhill now to the next fence. And it's Johansson that sticks his nose in front of these five. Johansson, Major Barris, Corsican Boy, Windy Miller, they're all together. Princess Peach. But it's Major Barris now that starts to pull away off the top weight. Good run here, but it's Major Barris leads him into the 19th. Oh, and he went through the top of it. They won't have done him any favours. And it's Major Barris being challenged now by Windy Miller and Half Supreme. The one that's coming out of the pack is Princess Peach. They get to the 20th. There's only one left to go. Really poor jump by Major Barris has allowed Windy Miller to take it up. But on the outside comes Princess Peach. So it's Princess Peach that noses in front with a further and a half. They get to the last. He gets over it, but slowly. It's Princess Peach, Major Barris, Half Supreme, Windy Miller. Out of the pack comes Cutter Dash from nowhere. But it's Princess Peach who's got a two-length advantage here. Princess Peach inside the half a furlong. Princess Peach for David Robinson is going to hang on to this, I think. Princess Peach is going to take it from fast finishing Cutter Dash. Or is he going to catch him here? He's not. It's Princess Peach from Cutter Dash in second. Break free was third. Another good win for David Robertson. Might be one to look out for in the Cheltenham competition next week. So a good win there for Princess Peach. Second cut to dash for Daniel French. Third break free for Molly at Surfer. Fourth was Sharma Blue for Daniel French. So second and fourth. Good money there. And El Distintivo for Obi-Wan. That was pretty much last for most of the race. Got up for some money in fifth.